So now that we know how to prove um, that angle at center is twice angle at um, say, angle at circumference, we have managed to prove this, and we have this twice as that. So which which means that if I have two x here, then here I'm gonna have x. So if if maybe you were asked to prove that um, angle in a semicircle is 90 degree, you have to prove this theorem to make it easy for you. Prove this theorem, then conclude with this one, that angle at center is twice angle at circumference. You prove this theorem, then you apply this theorem to prove the 90 degrees. So now that we know how to prove this theorem, we just have to draw another circle can have our circle there let's draw it here recall you have proven the theorem that um i just stated now suppose you are asked to prove a theorem then you draw another circle you draw a diameter you draw a semicircle This is a semicircle that you're going to be dealing with. Then you just conclude that a, a straight line is 180. So that makes this to be um, 90. Right? So maybe here you have AB and say that um, maybe here O, angle AOB is equal to 180. Then angle maybe ACB is equals to 90 and what is your conclusion your conclusion is angle at center is equals to twice angle at circum then you are done as long as you have proven this theorem which i stated is very important you can use it to prove other theorems okay okay so So it's okay, um, as I'm saying, let's have a timer where we take close to 10 minutes trying to do something because I'm assuming next time it's going to be um, loads of us. So we can have a 10 minutes. If you manage to do the task within the 10 minutes, depending on the workload and the time will obviously be adjusted. If you manage to do that, then good. If you could not, then you have tried you have tried to you know do it the attempt is what we want then you can watch the videos and discuss um wherever you want to discuss and if you want to voluntarily share how you did it you can do so by sending um i think it's gonna be easy um by by sending a picture on the group chat and i will give you um and access to to talk so that we can all listen to what you have done while the picture is on the screen okay i think that is the better way um so here here is a trick here um we have our cycle right so that is very important doesn't want to be Scared. let's try again so we have our circle that's the first part that is important for this then we want to prove that this angle is equals to this angle a is equals to b then we have c then we have d okay so what i want you to to do is you can put this once and say that this implies that for any for any angle on the circumference and the same um circle must be um if this is um 2x then we have x here then we also have x here that's how we prove this theorem 
So you have to prove angulate center is, is twice angulate circumference. So you can have your center as a dot. Then prove that the one that we have proved already that, okay, let's consider A. Let's consider dealing with A for now. Then construct that. Have that, then have your radius, then have your radius. After doing that, prove that this angle at center is twice angle at the circumference. Apply the same concept for B. Then you have same thing going on. We can highlight this triangle so that we can be able to prove. We have this part. Let's take it from the top. We have that. Then what else? We have this line. Then we have the radius and we have the radius. So we prove that angle at center is twice angle at circumference. Then the next stop, we don't prove it. We apply it. There's a difference. So we now know how to prove that. So we would prove that um, if we can call this maybe angle O because it's at the center. O is equal to 2A. That's what we are going to prove. And it's not going to be hard because you already know how to prove it. Okay, we have that. Now that we have proven that, this implies that O, because you are going to do the same thing. We are no longer proving, you have proved that. All the steps of the proofs that we have done are there. They have been applied here. Angle O is 2B. Here, you are not proving, you are applying the theorem. This means that you write on the reason part that um, angle at center is twice angle at circum. This is an application. Why are you applying? Because you have already proven that angle at center is twice angle of... Uh, you use this one to prove, you apply here. Now, what is the conclusion? These are both what? Equals to O, angle O. So this means that we have angle A equals to 2 angle B. Then that's where we can easily prove that the two are equal. Hmm. 